All right, guys, picking up right where we left off again. Um, we're going to check out the uh, the yellow and red fire that comes out of the barrel of the gun when you pull the trigger. So the base state um, is of the fire is just this little tiny circle um, that's hidden inside the barrel of the gun. And then the state, when you fire... Um, when you fire the gun, the state of the red and yellow fire turns into this wacky kind of explosion looking thing. Um, I get that effect by, um, by, uh, using the displace, um, the displacement, um, material, which changes the shape into this wacky color, wacky, uh, you know, explosion type shape. So, um, we'll go back to the trigger and we'll see all the things that are activated when you put the mouse down on the trigger. So you see this red fire, um, in point in point five or a half a second goes from its base state miniature thing inside the barrel to its state, the explosion, and then shrinks back to, um, its base state. It eases in and out. There's no loop. It just goes from start to end. There's no delay in it. So there's no delay from when um, you put, pull the trigger. It activates right away um, and, you know, completes the animation of the, of the flame. So same thing for the red and yellow fire. And then um, these little diamonds are, um, are spotlights. And we have a blue one, a purple one, and a green one. And you'll see... When you pull the trigger, it just adds some little dynamic kind of movie effects, and it flashes all these lights when the bullet's being fired. You know, just some cool little uh, little extra movie effects kind of going on there. So uh, the way that works is very similar. When you pull the mouse down, um, it activates the light, and 0.1 seconds, it goes from its base state, which is... Um, where, where's the purple light? Um, here, here's the purple light. Um, like that. It's base state. Um, the intensity is super low and in its state, um, if we turn, if we turn off the other two lights, you can see that, um, the intensity of the purple light get, um, gets, uh, very bright at its state. And at its base state, it's you can you can't even really see it at all. Um, you know, this 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 could look cool with a, a black background or whatever. Um, you pull the trigger, you can see the lights flashing. Uh, right now, I have the rest of the lights turned off. But um, yeah, that's how that works. So the trigger is affecting the animations of all the other stuff. It's a button that, that affects the animations of every other thing going on in the scene. So, um, what you, what you could have happen is you could have something appear like a button or a message when you pull the trigger that says, oh, you've solved this puzzle or you've discovered what works going on. And you can put this gun on the website as kind of like a puzzle for, um, your users to figure out um, like what to do, um, uh, what what to do when they get to the website, they'll look around like this is a gun. What you know? What should I do? They'll think about it. Maybe they'll start clicking around, seeing if there's anything going on. And then they'll then they'll maybe say, oh, I'll try pulling the trigger. And then you could reveal a message, or you could reveal a link, or um, a button that goes to the next page, or pretty much anything you you can imagine. Um, you know, the sky's the limit, like I said. What's so great about the spline tool is that um, it's made for putting these 3D um, animations and interactive stuff into, um, into onto websites. And there's all different ways you can make puzzles and video games and animations that, you know, go on in the background that start automatically or require user interactivity, um, the sky's the limit. I'll, and I'll go, I'll go through all the, I showed you the mouse down, how that requires a, a button click. And I showed you a start that starts automatically, but there's a bunch of different other stuff that I'll go through eventually in other videos. Please like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.